stop being your own biggest critic. I down talk myself. I speak more negativity over myself than other people do. I tell myself, hmm, no, nah, that's stupid. People won't like that. So for example, I probably go somewhere and just because my hair isn't its usual best how I would normally you know like to do it and you know somebody will come along and give me a compliment and i'll be like what like you like this this looks a mess how about we start changing the way we respond to things like that just because you know you feel as if it wasn't your absolute best you need to still be confident be confident in your talents you need to stop making it so hard for you to see the same thing that they're seeing when people compliment you, make sure your responses are always positive. If you do feel like you look your worst and someone gives you a compliment, then you should look at that as a good thing. And that should tell you like, okay, well, maybe I am beating myself up a little too bad. Maybe I, uh, this, this person that just complimented me, they actually like it. Stop being your own biggest critic. You need to stop making it so hard for you to see the same thing that they're seeing. with another video so yes i know that the environment looks pretty different i'm in my car obviously no usually i don't film in my car but right now i'm currently at a lake and i usually come here whenever i need to write in my journal and just get some things off of my mind it is really on my heart right now to do a video usually whenever i record i'm all dolled up i don't even have my lip gloss or nothing with me but you know what that's fine that's what i got the car mats for but that's besides the point but i'm really just gonna give it to y'all you know raw and uncut i feel like the words that's about to come out of my mouth is going to be way more important than all of that extra stuff first thing first stop comparing i have talked about this in one of my mental health videos before comparison is the thief of joy i will constantly find myself comparing myself to other people instead of me being content and happy with myself and happy with where i am at at this moment i have been too busy comparing if i see someone who is ahead of me and they are in that exact place where I wish to be you know of course I look at it as motivation like I love I absolutely love seeing things like that but it's like I found myself beating myself up because I haven't made it to that point yet instead of being grateful for where I'm at this kind of leads into the second tip, which is to be grateful for what you have currently. When you are grateful for what you have in the present and in, the, in your current moment, that's how you receive more blessings. You cannot expect for God to get you to that place where you want to be if you are not grateful for where you are at in, in your current moment. There are so many people out there wishing to be where you are are and wishing that they can have some of the things that that you have and you're too busy being ungrateful for it so a couple of weeks ago i started having problems with my car okay so anyone who knows me know that i love jeeps like that is my dream vehicle i would just say a little different things pertaining to the jeep and i wasn't grateful that i have a nice car and that I am so blessed to have parents who made sure that I was able to have a car who work hard to make sure I have all of these things that I desire here I am wishing that I had this Jeep and all of a sudden I started running into problems with my car thankfully it was a minor issue and my dad got it fixed right away so after it got fixed I found myself talking about this Jeep again. Let me tell you something. It's okay to say that you want something, but when you take it to the extreme, that's when the problem comes in. 
something else happened with my car. And I usually don't run into problems with my car at all. I have had this car since I was 16 years old. All of a sudden, my world was just tumbling down. Things started happening with the car out of nowhere. So it was a, another minor issue. My dad got it fixed again. Third time's a charm, huh? So then I started praising this Jeep again. Out of nowhere, I ran into another issue. And this last time that something happened made me so grateful. I was at school at the time and thankfully and gratefully, my dad came up here and he got that issue taken care of right away. I only happened to be without my car for a few hours, but in those few amount of hours, it's like so many things was going through my head. It was like the worst was going through my head and I just felt so bad. I felt so bad that I was not grateful to have a, a nice working vehicle. I was not grateful that my parents blessed me with this vehicle and that I have a mode of transportation. My blessing was about to be taken away from me so fast. It's like God was testing me he was showing me that okay if you're not appreciative of this major blessing that you have in your life i'm just gonna take it away from you even if you don't you know end up receiving more out of it you need to be grateful for your blessings anyway next be open to listening to what others say you do not have to take criticism as a bad thing y'all my curls are dropping so bad but it's okay, it's okay, my words are more important. It seems as if I'm the type of person that will tell you, oh, you can tell me how you feel, like, I don't care, but I have a hard time accepting it. I would feel as if someone was attacking me just because they're being honest with me. If I'm telling someone that they can be honest with me, I shouldn't make them feel uncomfortable when doing so. There is no reason to why I should be mad at someone for telling me something that I need to hear. Most of the time, the criticism that people give me is to help me and not harm me. At that time, I didn't know the difference between good criticism and being attacked. Try not to take criticism as a bad thing. There are some people out there who will tell you something, but it's not really genuine. It's not really something that they telling you to help you. Like, it's just them being a hater. So next, stand up for yourself. Do not let people walk all of you. Okay, y'all, I had to move my car because that light was getting a little, uh, I ain't like it. If you feel like someone is walking all over you, you feel like that person isn't allowing you to have a voice nine times out of ten is because you are allowing yourself to have a voice you are allowing them to walk all over you once you speak up for yourself I promise you you do not have to worry about that same person running over you again think about it if you stand up for yourself what's the absolute worst that can happen make sure you don't apologize for standing up for yourself either because of course when you stand up for yourself people are going to make you feel bad because they're not used to you doing it only apologize if you absolutely feel like that person deserves an apology if you absolutely feel like you was in the wrong but if you feel like you wasn't wrong about it and they just mad guess what oh well and if they have a problem with anything that's coming out of your mouth it's very easy to remove them from your life okay next normalize saying no without an explanation and without feeling bad about it if someone asked me to do something and i know i wasn't mentally there to do it or if i know i'm just too sleepy to do it or if i know i really should be putting myself first and i got 10 million other things to do i must still tell them yes I had to take some steps back and realize like, dang, people don't do me like that. If I absolutely can't do something, I would say no. And then I try to explain to the person the reason why I can't do it. And it's like, okay, I had to take some steps back to realize like, why am I explaining myself to them? If I can't do it, I just can't do it. Why do you owe someone an explanation on why 
you can't do something. Don't feel bad about telling people no. People always expect your answer to be yes. Every time they want something or want you to go somewhere or do something for them, they expect your answer to automatically be yes. But if you can't do it, then guess what? No. So normalize saying no and put yourself first. Okay, the next one, be unapologetic. You do not always have to tell people sorry for things that you really shouldn't be sorry for. Say if someone wanted you to go to a party or something with them. You tell them, oh, I'm sorry, I can't go because I have a homework assignment to do and I have to study, I'm so sorry. Why are you saying sorry? You're putting yourself first. Why, why are you apologizing for putting yourself first and putting your needs before theirs? Be unapologetic. The next one, be fearless. I have been holding my own self back from a lot of things because I live in fear. But you have to ask yourself, what is living in fear gonna get me? Like, where, where is that gonna take me? No more what ifs. Stop talking about, well, what if this happens if I do this? No. And if you are gonna use a what if, make sure the what if is positive. What if the outcome is good? Flip that negative to a positive. The next one, be yourself and don't worry about what other people think and stop living for others. Stop hiding who you are. Stop hiding who you really are because you are too busy trying to live up to other people's standards. You never know the outcome may even be better with you being your complete self. Last one, be self-aware and spend time alone. You absolutely have to spend time alone in order to become self-aware. In order to become aware of the flaws that you have and the things that you should work on within yourself, you must spend time alone. When you are self-aware, you can take criticism much easier because if someone comes to tell you something about yourself, you won't really lash out about it because you, you already know. So take that time by yourself without no friends, shut your phone off and just be alone and just, just think. Every time I spend some time to myself, I learn something new each time. I learn multiple things and I just write it down. We got this y'all, we are in this together. I really hope that this video helps y'all just as much as it was helping me as I was speaking. If you would like to see more videos like this, be sure to comment below. You can also feel free to comment certain topics if you like. Be sure to like this video and be sure to subscribe. Thank you all so much for watching.